Hi there, Kevin Creighton with ShootingIllustrated.com. This week on iCarry, it's a TSOS Stingray 1911 in 9mm. That's being carried in a Galco concealable holster, and we're teaming that up with a great little knife from Buck Knives. You know, it wasn't all that long ago when you didn't want to buy a Japanese camera because the German cameras were better. Yet today, you see Nikons and Canons on the sidelines at a football game. And it wasn't all that long ago also when you didn't want to buy a Korean appliance because they just weren't as well built. But now you see LGs and Samsungs in everybody's homes. And now I think that time's come for Turkish guns as well. This is the TSOS Stingray. It's a 1911 chambered in 9mm and it's really optimized for concealed carry and personal defense. It's built like a tank. The build quality on it is terrific and it's got some great features. And let's take a look at those right now. The Tisa Stingray is a 9mm 1911. It's commander size. It's got that nice little bobtail cut that Ed Brown came up with originally. And it's got Novak compatible sights. It's fairly lightweight for a 1911, about 26 ounces. It's easy to carry, very easy to shoot. And the best thing about all of this is you're getting that 1911 trigger and that 1911 accuracy. That means, honestly, it feels like cheat mode if you compare it to some of the polymer frame striker fired actions out there. The feel of the trigger is going to be better than any of those guns. The length of the trigger bowl is going to be better than any of those guns. They're accurate and honestly, it's been in my experience a rather reliable fire armor. Another nice thing about carrying a 1911 is that it's a single stack pistol, which means that it's a little bit thinner than just about anything else out there, which makes it easier to conceal under your everyday clothing. Some other nice features of this gun, it's got a flared and lowered ejection port. It's got a gray Cerakote finish, the grips on it are nice, and you get all of this at a very attractive price. Now the TSOS is a Turkish gun, and people say, well, you know, Turkish guns are on this, that, and the other thing. But the fact of the matter is, you look how the thing is built, you look on the features on it, it's a really terrific value. The Galco Concealable is an update to the tried and true leather pancake holster. The back of the holster is smooth and curved, but it allows it to fit tighter up against your waistline. This in turn makes it easier to conceal your gun under your cover garment. It has a very distinct forward cant that also helps concealment as it brings the butt of your pistol into a more vertical position that doesn't poke from underneath your cover garment. It's got great molding on it and it's designed for an inch and a half wide belt. Now one thing this holster doesn't have is a little bit of reinforcement up at the top of the front to help you with reholstering, but honestly I didn't find that to be a problem. I was able to draw and reholster without any issues with it and all in all it's very solid, very well built, outside the waistband leather holster. Now everybody knows the Buck Knives name. We all recognize that the Model 110 is one of the most iconic blades out there. The Sprint Pro, however, is not your grandpa's folding buck knife. It's got a lot of nice features that you want in an everyday carry blade. It has a ball bearing pivot, a sturdy handle with a micarta burlap pattern on it, and the nice thing about it is it's got a couple little grooves on the side there to really help you hold it very securely. It's got a flipper on the back, which means that it's great as a utility blade, and that flipper means that it can open up quickly for defensive purposes. It's just four and three eighths inches long when closed and it weighs 3.2 ounces, which means it's very easy to carry inside your pocket. Great little knife and definitely a different change of direction from what you might think of as your normal everyday buck knife. Hey, thanks for watching. For more information on the TSAW Stingray, the Galco concealable holster, or that buck knives blade, be sure to visit shootingillustrated.com. And tune in again next week for another episode of iCarry.